Today is Jen's birthday and it's freezing freaking cold. It is 41 degrees in this morning when we woke up. Little Iris got out of bed and then went right back to bed. They have this little space heater here, so we turned that on for her. She's all nuzzled in there. She doesn't even want to talk about it this morning. She's under one of my puffy coats and on top of my other puffy coat. <laughs> to be too <laughs> Jen's birthday wish. <laughs> I was a little worried that you would think we had gone soft on you, so I wanted to show you the restroom and shower situation here at the cabin. So first off, for dishwashing, and uh, if you want to take a shower, you get to pull some water out of the hole here. And uh, we didn't pull any out yesterday. So it's a little frozen over, but you just kind of uh, kick your way down. Well, we probably just won't shower till it gets warmer, I guess. Cute little chairs. There's a fire pit there, but it's all buried. This is the outhouse, and yeah, it is. This reads out negative seven this morning, so. A regular old hole in the ground. But we're well stocked. I think you have to think of the outhouse as a morning time of refreshment definitely feel awake after you use the morning restroom icicles aren't getting any less icy this one's a monster it's not even eight o'clock yet we've already had breakfast and we're just gonna zip out and try to do everything that we haven't had a chance to do yet. We have so many things on our to-do list. Today should be a busy day. We did take one shower. With a camp shower. And lots of bungee cards. But it didn't not work. Do you think you, uh, like, get out and hang out at the top, I assume? Hello, how are you? Good. Yeah. Good. Okay, keep those handy, because you're when you get to the elevator, you're going to have to show them again. Okay, cool. Elevator in there? Yep. Okay, cool. So you're going to get off that little shack at the top, Yep. walk down to the big jump, and yep. through the double doors, and to the elevator to the top. Sweet. Right on. Cool. And is this pass just a one-time? He around? got all day till four o'clock. Oh wow! Cool. All right. Sweet. But if you're gonna come back to watch him jump this yeah. afternoon, you're gonna want to be down here anyway. Then you can see him land. Yeah. If you're up top, you can't see him land. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Oh great. Good to know. Perfect. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Right. I mean, it's the key part. Yeah. Anybody gotcha. can come off that jump. Yeah. yeah. It's landing. <laughs> yeah, I can come off that jump. <laughs> so we zoomed over to the sky ride. So yes. These are the big gigantic jumps. We're gonna see some little 
four-year-old peanuts go over some gnarly jumps. <laughs> but we might not see anybody go off the biggest one because it's pretty gnarly. But we're supposed to get off here and then apparently go up an elevator. So we're only halfway up. Hello! <laughs> We're expecting you. <laughs> kind of a different time for us right now because we've had the Olympic trials. The team is set to go to the Olympics. They're yeah. in a bubble somewhere. And they're, having, <laughs> they're going to a lot of different competitions all over the place. So basically what we're left with is the developmental uh, programs. Awesome. Uh, and we're going to have one that's called uh, JAG. So we'll have some young, young kids here that are not even a part of the jumping program, but they're going to be experiencing it. So you're at 2,000 feet above sea level right now. What do you think of my office view? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Pretty nice, huh? It doesn't get old. So we are going to get you to the top of the mountain. Yep. I mean, cool. the top, the top <laughs> of the, the tower. It's an elevator ride up uh, to an area that I call the classrooms. The classrooms are two rooms separated by the elevator. They have tables and chairs. You can sit and relax. You can walk outside if you'd like to onto the wooden platform and up a set of stairs to go where those people are right yep. now. Wow. Or Perfect. in the words of my wife, I'm good. <laughs> in the classroom. Have a great time, folks. Enjoy great. yourself. Okay? Thank you so much. We'll see you in a little while. Yep. Howdy. So, how are you doing? Good. Very good. Two settings and head high. Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Do you have people sneak all the way up here without their tickets? Uh, yeah, there's um, <laughs> trails from John Brown. Oh, gotcha. As well as the road. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Missed opportunity. Oh man. Oh, there we go. I gonna say. Jen loves heights. No. Heights are her favorite. She I don't said, think if I brought myself up there, but I thought that was I'm why. not relying on. A machine. Oh, you prefer? Like if I'm hiking. I'm you prefer fine. to have climbed up this? Yes. <laughs> you probably could. Wouldn't you need it? It's only two, two slides. Yeah. Second floor, we made it. Feel better now? You have to do it on your own? Yeah, yeah. I'm afraid of heights. That's not as... It doesn't as I thought look as terrifying from up here. But, you put, <laughs> but like, if you strap skis on, on, put me right there. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Tell them we're not scared yet. Joe needs to slide down it. <laughs> Ow. I'm Imagine at. like having a little kid and being like, you want to try ski jumping? No, That's I can't. Crazy. That's insanity. I almost feel like it's irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, kid, we don't want this one. Try kid, ski jumping. Kids are bulletproof at a certain age. I feel like it's warmer up here. It's, the sun is really warm. We're closer to the sun. You guys can't be down there. We just uh, didn't see a, a cable and we took the opportunity. Well, I just think it's funny because, okay, this is cable. I was going to say, they kicked us off something like this and then I thought this was open. And I was like, uh, are you allowed to go there here? Because that seems more dangerous. That is so cool. These kids are the coolest kids I've ever met in my whole life. We're out on 
on the lake right now. We're in the town of Lake Placid, but this is Mirror Lake. Beautiful. Got a shoveled off ski area. Epic views of the mountains in between. And this bad boy. You sit on a toboggan and fly down this puppy. Crazy toboggan of doom. We are waiting to see if that toboggan might open up, but in the meantime, there's a very inviting opportunity over here <laughs> presenting itself. Let's do it. There's this team and there's another team down there too. You want to meet them both so we can pet 15 dogs? Yeah, I think we might as well go over there. Maybe Just we'll maybe meet them both twice and make sure, you know? Oh, so sweet. Oh, look at this one. I mean, now it has more fur than you. That's not fair. It's <laughs> like a, another hound. Beautiful. At least the one closest to us is. Luna, get that trail, let's go. Got a girl, hike. Baby, hike. Hey, Get me come see me. You lazy bag of bones. Oh, look at you and your chest, oh, Alfie. You're silly. You're silly. Come on, come on. I love you. Come on, I love you. Look at all your puppy that I do. Look at your fleecy. <laughs> your fleecy butt. Look at this fleecy butt. <laughs> your dangly little fleece butt. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're a good girl. We just drove back to the cabin and we're scooping up the doggo and going right back to Mira Lake. We're going to take a walk out. There's a perimeter loop all the way around the lake. So you can walk, I think, almost three miles around a big loop around the lake. So we're going to go do that. This lump on the couch won't get up for anything ever. <laughs> but cheese! Except for when we bust out the cheese. And she knows it's because I'm well, going to give her some. Wag that too. Wag that too. Yummies. Oh, look how cute you are, though. Iris, are you having fun, baby? Oh, chomping. You're going to Chomp Town, huh? Chomp Town, you say. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you eating so much snow?
powered by 29 inch thighs the size of a chicken hand. The speed scale will travel as fast as a human can move strictly under his own power. And win his first goal in the final defeat. Seen against herself and the fight. But how does anyone beat the legend and jump into the lead by measured in hundreds? On this day, Anna Marie Moser's only human frailty is a frozen face. Pencil will lead to bridesmaids passing Nadia to the silver might the lives that this sub-zero code that will freeze the racer's faces. Anna Marie has won more World Cup races than anyone in history, but she has never won Olympic gold. She elected to retire before the 76 games in Innsbruck. Some say out of fear of failing in front of the countrymen, others in the bronze of Austria. Winning the gold medal of How we doing, Jan? <laughs> yeah, I'll fall. I'm not advanced enough to be vlogging this stuff. As you saw, or will see, from the Van Hoven footage, but so pretty, how could I not show you? Just out here with Jan, breaking the law. Cue her falling through the ice. Now there's already fresh tracks out there. It's been cold as heck. So we are gonna check out the gazebo. Oh, there's a boat, little boat right there. Ooh. We've got a hold of Collins here. Oh gosh. Be a bad example for the kids. Ski off trail into the gazebos. Ooh, very cool though. Hi. Finally got some real. Sunny sunshine. What do you think? You want to renew our vows? Ooh, it's deep. Duck walk it. Oh, there's a grill. Let's look at propane. Propane and propane accessories. Cool wife. Hi. Little lawbreaker. Found this lady out on the ice. She wasn't supposed to be on. Had to chase her out. Jen's having so much fun. On the, uh, we did one little blue trail loop just to hit these little tiny hills. And she's going back up to double down. Uh, I am not. I almost hit these trees. Coming at the end, I'll show you. It's from the tip up there, you kind of do a little drop and then a flat and then a drop and then it hits this Y. And this is where I stopped first time down she's up there oh yeah smooth wow nice job last day of this trip um we have had our eye on the toboggan ride that little toboggan but we found out that they they run it at night so it's open from seven to nine so i think we're gonna kind of settle in and just grab some dinner and cozy up and maybe play a couple card games and with any luck end this trip with a high speed toboggan ride out onto the lake Strong wife carry our toboggan. Is it? Mm. Only reason why I trusted it.
securing the camera trim and the phones out. I was like, that's a mess. Yeah. When you get to the bottom, there's a lot of like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to go there. I thought that was a GoPro. That's all good. No, we should I have a GoPro. We should have the decision to buy the GoPro. Oh, <laughs> God, Red. <laughs> Throw that thing out, get one. <laughs> Alright, alright. Okay. I guess. Hang on tight. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> Very good job. Okay. Very good. Okay. <laughs> are you okay to go again or are you done? I think I may be done. That's cool. I was sitting back on my, like, a little further back. Yeah. And it, it hurt. Sorry, my too many things on. to make you focus on. <laughs> <laughs> but it was worth it. It was fun. <laughs> Sad day. Time to pack up. It kind of feels too easy when you don't have to bring the whole entire cabin and the wood stove and everything with you. Well, we sort of have a situation now because the dog is been missing for probably 20 minutes. So I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do. Well, these are not ideal terms for an adventure to be started on, but we are making a big perimeter around the state forest out behind us and just looking for Iris's tracks, the snow is deep, but there's a ton of deer tracks everywhere. So we're just trying to basically make one big circle and either she's gonna have left the circle at one place and we can just follow her tracks. Or uh, if we do a big loop around and don't find her tracks in any direction, then we know she's somewhere inside this loop. It's only been 45 minutes, which I know sounds like a long time, but to her, that's just a little hike in the woods. She's probably still out sniffing following deer and having fun so we'll find her i gotta hike down all this which is not marked trail i'm uh just walking towards that mountain because that's below our camp i walked up the other side at this point we did i've done this gigantic circle around the whole perimeter found a road over here i thought connected to our road and it just came out at some mansions that are like lofting up on giant hills but this place is literally just goes on forever there's just snow and trees in every single direction you wander and it's just snow and tree and hill and rock and then occasionally you stumble up onto a cabin and i'd say 80 percent of the cabins out here are so remote that they're not even plowed out. There are it's a good foot and a half of snow every single direction. And just found the dog. I'm not sure where she is. I'm gonna trek back down and see how this crazy fluffy doggy's doing. There's state land all up that way, which was the scary part is ours could have been literally way up on that mountain or over the top. Oh my gosh. I think this is where ours came out. Uh, what a dweeb. These tracks were not here before. This little twerp. Looks like she followed, followed our footprints back to the cabin. Guess the plan worked. We just made a big perimeter and it looks like she found our snowshoe trail and sniffed it and tracked it home. I up this road right here, round top, the one that you saw right in front of. Oh, okay. I was walking up there, and I corner my eye, I saw something 
dart down this. I thought actually she was a bear. She didn't look like her. Ooh, that would have been an interesting plot twist. I'm fast and my dog lost. Nice. We can lose your dog every time you need to race. She was like, she, she ran up to here and then I called her. And I was like, get in the car, get in the car. And she like starts like being like getting frantic. Ran around this whole pile and I was like, oh my God. And like, so I ran over here and I opened the camera door and she ran. Nice, good play. And I went in and cried. Yeah. Head in my, like, uh, hour and a half. Pretty sure we were. It was like maybe. I think it's been a little more than that. Nine thirty. I don't know. I mean, I text him at ten. Did yeah. Oh yeah. Did you let him raise on? Yeah. Good. He's like, this happens all the time. I'm sure. I mean, this just was forever. Yeah. Where is she? Iris, come here. Iris, come think we were looking for you. Where? Iris, come here, baby. You're not in trouble. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be nuzzling down. Oh, Come on. Let's go home. Oh, baby. What'd you find out there? Was there lots of deer? Was there so many things to, to look at out there? Was there so many things to look at? You just lost your brain. Love them too. Yeah, they looked for you. Ah, oh, the tail between the legs. Oh. Irish, you want to go home? Let's All go. Right. Yeah. Come on. I think you leash her way to the car. This yeah. Point. This was a sweet trip. <laughs> Can't wait to have another birthday soon. Hope you guys had fun. Adirondacks. If you can get here, you should. Because there's so much more to do.